Hello everyone, this is Michael with Christopher Street Tours, and on today's episode of Queer History, we'll be learning about the rainbow flag, often known as the gay pride flag. Today, the rainbow flag is often seen as a symbol of pride within the LGBTQ plus community all around the world. It can be seen at LGBTQ friendly establishments, LGBTQ advocacy rights, protest marches, and at pride celebrations. The original rainbow flag was created by artist and activist Gilbert Baker in 1978. It premiered in San Francisco, California, with the original eight colors. In addition to the six colors that are often seen on today's flag, the original version included hot pink for sex and turquoise for magic and art. However, due to the lack of ability with turquoise and hot pink fabrics, the two colors were soon removed. The colors that remain in the flag today are red for life, orange for healing, yellow for sunlight, green for nature, indigo for serenity, and violet for spirit. Gilbert Baker, who grew up in Kansas, then moved to San Francisco and met Harvey Milk, the first openly elected gay politician in California. Harvey Milk challenged Gilbert Baker to come up with a new symbol of pride for the LGBTQ community. Before the rainbow flag, the most often used symbol of pride within the community was the pink triangle. However, this represented a dark time for the LGBTQ plus community. In the 1930s and 1940s in Nazi Germany, the pink triangle was often used as a sign of persecution for men that were perceived to be gay and taken to concentration camps forced to wear this symbol. When the camps were eventually liberated, the men with the pink triangle were forced to endure the remainder of their sentences at various jails around the country. Out of all the symbols that were used in Nazi Germany in the concentration camps, the pink triangle is the only one that has since been reclaimed. For any Rocky Horror Picture Show fans, a cult classic from 1975, you can see a pink triangle on Dr. Frank N. Furter's outfit. Later, in 1987, the AIDS advocacy group ACT UP, or the AIDS Coalition to Unleash Power, incorporated the pink triangle facing the other way and pointing upwards in their logo. What was once used as a sign of persecution now symbolizes gay power and gay rights. Gilbert Baker talks about creating the rainbow flag and the symbol in his autobiography, Rainbow Warrior, My Life in Color. In it, he says, A rainbow flag was a conscious choice, natural and necessary. The rainbow came from the earliest recorded history as a symbol of hope. A rainbow flag would be our modern alternative to the pink triangle. The original rainbow flag was hand-dyed and hand-stitched, premiering at San Francisco's Gay Freedom Day Parade in 1978. In 1994, for the 25th anniversary of the Stonewall Uprising, Gilbert Baker was commissioned to create the world's largest rainbow flag. The flag spanned one mile and made it into the Guinness Book of World Records. In 2003, the 25th anniversary of the creation of the flag, Gilbert Baker created another version, this time with the original eight colors. This flag was even longer, measuring one and a quarter miles. On both occasions, the long flags were cut up into sections and sent to different exhibitions and demonstrations around the world. Since the creation of the original rainbow flag, many other versions have been created. In March 2017, Gilbert Baker created another version, but this time with a ninth stripe of lavender to symbolize diversity. In June 2017, Philadelphia created a revised version, adding a black and brown stripe to the top of the standard flag. This was meant as a way to call attention to the concerns for LGBTQ people of color within the community. And in June 2018, another revised version was created, also with the black and brown stripe, but this time including elements of the trans flag. There has also been some controversy with the current administration in regards to the rainbow flag. In June 2019, Pride Month, and the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Uprising, the U.S. government refused to fly the rainbow flag at the White House. They had also denied all requests from U.S. embassies around the world to fly the rainbow flag. However, several embassies decided to fly the rainbow flag anyway. Although there are now many flags that correlate to the various identities within the community, the rainbow flag stands as an international symbol of hope and pride for LGBTQ people. Thank you for joining me for Queer History with Christopher Street Tours. Be sure to subscribe below and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Christopher Street Tours. Until next time. Christopher Street Tours is an LGBTQ-owned organization. Our mission is to make LGBTQ history accessible and engaging, sharing stories and uplifting voices from those who paved the way before us. For more information and resources, please visit ChristopherStreetTours.com.